So the strategies for each of these different types. So if you're a generator or a manifesting generator, your strategy comes from the way that your aura works. So if you're a generator or a manifesting generator, your aura is really open and warm and magnetic. So that's the reason why you are here to respond. So responding is your strategy. You're here to respond to signs and opportunities because your aura magnetizes opportunities towards you and they're going to be the aligned opportunities. <clears throat> it doesn't mean that you say yes to every opportunity just because you've magnetized it towards you. You still have to be discerning because otherwise you'll waste energy on things that aren't actually for you. But you're able to uh, magnetize this multitude of opportunities like this smorgasbord to choose from when you're living by your type, your strategy and authority. Manifestors, your strategy is to initiate. So that's because your aura is really dense and protective and repelling. And so this is the perfect recipe for you to be able to go out there I like I'm frozen. Am I not frozen? Am I back? Yes. <laughs> My mum just called me. <laughs> I was like, mum, bad timing. <laughs> okay. So for manifestors, your aura is dense and protective and repelling. This is a perfect recipe for you to go out there and initiate because you can say, everyone get out of my way. I'm going to go and make this happen. The world was um, the way that we've all been taught to live our lives is the same way as a manifester, but we're not all here to actually do things that way. That's just the way society has conditioned us to be. So when you're able to start working from your strategy, the world will open up for you in the most amazing way. So projectors, because your aura is penetrating, absorbing and focused, you are here to guide and organize how other people's energy can be used more efficiently. So projectors have a hard time of seeing themselves, which I understand. <laughs> I can't see myself very well, but I can see other people so clearly. I'm like, oh, if you just did this, like it would work so much better. But could I say that for myself? No, I have no idea. <laughs> so it's just so interesting how we all work so differently. And so reflectors, reflectors, their aura is to sample people's energy and reflect people's energy. And this is what their aura does. And that means that because they're able to take so much in from their environment, to make a decision on something can take a long time and they have to wait for that clarity because they're always taking in so much information. It's hard for them to see what's really true for them as an individual when they're always taking in other people's energy. And to an extent in everybody's chart, and oh my God, I, I so want you guys to do human design basics because in human design basics, we talk about which energy centers you have that are like colored in and which ones are white. And the ones that are white are where you're most likely to be conditioned, where you're most likely to have that conditioning from society. And we look at ways that you can start to decondition from that. And, um, but like for a reflector, they have all of their energy centers uh, blank. They're all white. So they're just taking in energy from everyone all day, every day. It's insane. Okay, so your legacy. So your legacy as a generator or a manifesting generator so you will make the biggest difference in the world when you're paying attention to the signs and following your joy. It sounds so simple, but to actually live by this and to do this every single day of your life can be a challenging thing to do. But when you're actually able to, like this blood moon is teaching us, which is probably happening out there right now, um, go and look out the window if you're near the window. As this blood moon is teaching us, if you're able to surrender and like go with 
what the universe is gifting to you and follow what you're really excited about and what's bringing you so much joy, that's when you're going to be led on the path of where you can make the biggest difference in the world. And this is where your legacy lies. For manifestors, they can make the biggest difference when they take up space because, you know, as a manifestor, they have such powerful energy and especially in Australia, you know, that tall poppy syndrome. It's like, I don't want to be too much. I don't want to be too loud. I don't want to be too much of anything because I don't want to be cut down to size. And so then you start to hide. You start to diminish yourself. But a manifester who goes out there and they're like, this is who I am, and they take up that space and they have that courage to follow their desires, that's when they're going to be able to leave the most amazing legacy for the world. And I feel like all of us can take a little bit from that as well. And then the projectors. Projectors are here to make a difference when they recognise their own value and power and share their unique perspective. And so remember how I said that the hardest thing is for the projector to see themselves? So the projector has to learn to recognise their own value and their own unique skill set and the value that they can bring to the world first. And when they see that within themselves, which is hard for them to do, but when they do it, other people will start to see it too. And when other people start to see it, this is when they'll start inviting you for, uh, to give your advice and to give, make your contribution in the area that they see that you have a lot of value, you have a lot of wisdom. And then the projector feels amazing in being able to share this with people and have it make an impact and for people to, to listen and for people to then go and make amazing changes in their life. And that's the, the way that the life path for a projector works. And so it all starts with the projector recognising themselves first. And then we have our reflectors. Reflectors make the biggest difference when they lean into their unique flow and allow themselves to change and be fluid. And so it's all about going with those ebbs and flows and changing every single day. The reflectors are so tuned into the moon and if you look up at the moon in the sky every single day, it's different every time you look at it. And that's the energy that the reflector is feeling every day. And so every single day, when if you have a friend who's a reflector, if you see them one day and then you see them the next, they're going to be two different people. And it's about embracing the fact that they are so fluid and they go with the flow. So it starts with you knowing and understanding your own energy first, because I'm sure after you're hearing this, you're getting really excited about finding out what other people's designs are about you, around you. It's like, oh, I wonder what my partner's is. I wonder what my daughter's is. I wonder what my mum's is. But it's about understanding your own first and being able to go and embody that. And when you really get to know yourself and love yourself, then that is going to overflow into other areas of your life. And when you start really living as the person that you're here to be, that's when you're going to be able to make the biggest impact. So when you shift your energy, you will naturally assist those people around you and you will impact the people around you because you'll be tuning more into your aura and what your aura is here to do. 